Now in Sif Yud Aleph is the punchline. The Rebbe says, therefore we have the Hayra that we all take out from this Shabbos and from this Fabring. And remember, based on what we learned over here, it's a Hayra. A Rebbe doesn't need more than being a Rebbe, but it's a Hayra of a Rebbe, and as we're going to see, a Hayra of, of a Navi, of the Navi of the generation. And what's the Hayra? The Hayra is, the Rebbe says, we have to publicize this. This needs to be publicized. We're first to ourselves. Because it's shocking, it's a hard thing, like, wow. Are we talking to a Navi? There's really Navua now? Yeah, there's really Navua. The Rebbe says you have to publicize it to yourself. And then you have to publicize it to every person you can reach. This is not meant to be the best kept secret in Chabad. This is something that needs to be told for the entire world. And publicized. That what? That everybody needs to accept upon themselves the guidance, the teachings, the directives of of that's coming from who? Hear these words. Of the person who is a continuation of the Rabbi Seinu Nesiyenu. And the Rebbe says, he, he gives a description, it's clear that he's talking about himself, of who? Of Nasi Dereinu, who's what? Who is the Shoifei Dereinu, the judge of the generation. Yoyetz Dereinu, the advisor and the counselor of the generation. Unavi Dereinu, and the prophet of the generation. And that it's the Avoida of Yidin, that everybody should be Mechabal, him as a Navi and recognize and therefore implement his, his guidance and his teachings. And the Rebbe says this is not a Hasidish thing that we will say quietly by a Fabrengen. This is a commandment in the Torah, just like the commandment to keep Shabbos. It's a commandment of the Torah. Navi Akim Lahem Bekirbom. The Abishter will appoint a Navi. Kamoicha like you, Moshe Rabbeinu. I will put my word in his mouth and he will speak to you everything that I am commanding. That means that the Abishter is speaking to the Navi. And through the Navi, the Navi is, is speaking to us. So we have to listen. A love Tishma, and it's a commandment. And like the Rambam says, that if someone has, I hear these words, the Rebbe says, if someone has the qualities and the perfection that a Navi needs to have, and he shows signs and wonder to prove that he knows the future, that he's a nice Moivsim, like we saw, the Rebbe says, and we continue to see the fulfillment of the blessings of Nasi Darenu, of the Nasi of the generation. Again, he's it's amazing that the Rebbe is saying this. That you see the fulfillment of the blessings coming from the Nasi Adar. Is Ein Anu Maminim. Again, he's quoting the Rambam. We don't believe on him just because of the wonders that he does. But, but rather because it's a mitzvah that Moshe Rabbeinu commanded us in the Torah. That Elof Tishmoyen. That you have to listen to him. Why? When? When he says things that are going to happen. The Ba'olam in the world, the Amnu Dvarav, and his words are fulfilled. And the Rebbe says, like we saw by the Friedrich Rebbe, that he speaks the future and they were all fulfilled. And more than that, the Rebbe says, the Friedrich, there is a halacha that says that when one Navi testifies about another Navi, when no Navi testifies about another Navi, so we don't have to test the second Navi. Because it was already, he was already, because once he got like smicha in Navua and prophecy from a previous Navi, you, you, don't, you don't have to test him. So the Rebbe says the Friediger Rebbe was a Navi, Sheheyadal of Navi, because the Rebbe Rashab was Saimech on him on the Friediger Rebbe. And here with an unbelievable humility, hear these words. In Dozvet Nimshach Bedar Shala Achrav. And this becomes continuing the generation after the Friediger Rebbe, Al Yedei Talmidav, through his Talmidim. Through his Talmidim, that it continues. So then this person, that it continues, he's Becheskas Navi, and the second one doesn't need him. He, he has the Chazaka, he has the, the, the authority or the, the um, establishment that he's a Navi. You don't have to investigate him. Not only that, it's forbidden to think and to question him. His Navua, maybe it's not true. It's forbidden to doubt it. And it's usher to test him. Once we know that this is a Navi, Yaminu Yeda, you should know, he's quoting Rambam, Ki Hashem Bikirbam, that Hashem is inside of him. Velo Yaharu, you can't question. Velo Yachshuach, don't rethink him. And hear these words. We're mamin in the words of the Navi, not because it's his words, nor valdoses dem Eibishten's raid, durich dem Navi. These are the words of the Eibishter through the Navi. So therefore, we have the Hayra, the conclusion. I mean, we have to be mefarsim to all the people in the generation. That we were zeiche, that the Eibishter chose and appointed a Baal Bechira, a person with free choice, 
who on his own is way above the generation. Shaloi be'erech hecherf and anshi ador. That he should be the shayfet of the generation, the yoyets of the generation, and the navi ador of the generation. Who should teach the hairoes and give eitzes regarding the avoid of all the Jewish people. We're not talking about one group, Chabad. That he should be the guider, the one who gives guidance and directions to all the generation. And we both, in regarding to Torah and mitzvahs, and also in regarding to all personal matters, that people should know there is an address to come to and get guidance from a Navi of what is, what's the right way to live. And the Rebbe says, including and not stopping with, but including, and the, mo- the main, the primary Navuah from the Navi of our generation, that what? As he says, Navuah he ikris, the Navuah that le alter ligiula that momentarily, the altar immediately is the redemption, and take it from a yad hini zemoshiach bo, that this is a prophecy. The Rebbe points on the bottom, Ha'ara 1.6, and I want to clarify to everybody listening, this is not a quiet fabring, and the Rebbe said something, even though the Rebbe always spoke publicly, it was nothing quiet, but this was actually edited. I'm, I'm, I'm reviewing with you an edited sicha, that the Rebbe edited, that means he approved this to be published, printed in, in Sefer HaSichas, of, of Lubavitch and spread in the entire world. We, exactly as I'm telling it. To, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm translating it into English. That's basically all that I'm doing with a little excitement <laughs> that I can't control. But, but, but that's what it says. Then the Rebbe says, uh, so what does the Rebbe say in the bottom over here? That when he's giving you this Navua Ikris, this incredible Navua, he says he's not saying it, that Moshiach is coming. He's not taking, saying it as a tzaddik. He's not saying it only as a chacham, or as a Torah scholar. He's saying it as a navi. It's 1,000% true, without any question. And he brings, look in the Mamarim of the Alter Rebbe. Over there the Alter Rebbe is incredible. I looked it up. Short little mimer where the Alter Rebbe explains the difference between Navua and a chacham, a tzaddik. He says a chacham a a lot of times could tell you and can speak. Um, um, they can see things in the spiritual world, certain things that are going to happen. They know the future, but not. It doesn't necessarily always have to materialize because in order for things to come down from atzilus down here, there's many obstacles sometimes. So something could be true in one world, but it doesn't necessarily translate into the next arena or to the next level. But not a navi. Since a Navi, the Abishter brings it down from Atsilos all the way down to the Navi's mouth. Navu is not Chacham. Chachma is in transcendental. Navu is the Abishter is Dafka bringing it down into the mouth of the Navi. So he's putting it in the mouth. The mouth is an Olam Asiyah. That means that the Abishter promised it in Olam Asiyah. Once it's in Olam Asiyah already, which means in the concrete material world, it can't be taken back anymore. It's already present and there, and therefore it's impossible for it to chas v'sholem not materialize. And the Rebbe is saying, that's the vadois of divrei nevua, that he nezeh Moshiach ba. And therefore, we have to, we, we, the, the Rebbe says, we should accept, every, everybody has the schus, but also the tremendous responsibility to listen to everything that our, all the guidance we get from this, from the Navi Adar and the Shaif Adar. And by doing this, we're going to hasten the Giyula, the full, the full complete um, time of return of Navua to the Jewish people, which will be after Mashiach comes. And this, the Rebbe says also, parenthetically, we have the answer to many people who say, Mashiach, we're talking so much about Mashiach, it's, it's a distant thing, like how is it going to happen? How is the world going to change? The Rebbe said the question would be a question when, if we didn't yet, if it hasn't yet entered creation. But since... Lately, hear these words the Rebbe says, let's since lately, the minag is to communicate everything in speech. In other words, I'm revealing everything in speech. I'm saying it all. And the reason for that is because by saying it in the, through the words of our Holy Rebbe, by coming into words, it's actually channeled into Olam HaAsiyah already. So the whole Geula happened already in, in, in Olam HaAsiyah. It only needs to reveal itself now. But it's already nimshach and drawn down into the world. And therefore it shouldn't be a chizr. How is it going to happen? It happened already. All it needs to do is that we should become aware of it. But it's here already because it was already brought down through the Navi in Elam Asiyah.